Hi everybody, welcome to today's video. If you're new here, my name is Kira Island Socialist on Instagram and my blog is islandsocialist.com. This is another make for hashtag BHM Pattern Designers Challenge 2021. This is my final Valentine's look and I actually created this skirt to pair with my red velvet carry purse. If you have not yet watched my last video, make sure you go check out that video after you watch this one. That is my review of the carry purse by styles and seams and i also have a giveaway running on that video so today's video is all about the janelle skirt by style semi patterns this is a very popular pattern this is one of her older patterns i believe so it's been floating around for some time and i have seen this skirt entered into hashtag bhm pattern designers challenge in previous years now for some reason i was always terrified of the slit but when i was looking up a pattern to match my carry purse since my top didn't work out I thought of this skirt I thought it would look cute so I when I went onto the website and read all the information and looked up some reviews I realized that you could adjust the split to your liking so I decided I would take the plunge went ahead and purchased the pattern and here she is in all her glory of course it looks a little bit different to the pattern cover we'll get into that you all know how to put my Kira spin on every pattern I make. These days I rarely ever make a pattern as is. I always have to add something or take away something or change something. So anyway, the Janelle skirt comes in sizes extra small to 2XL. I made a size large at the waist, graded to extra large at the hip, and I continued with the extra large all the way down. Now, I am so used to Erin having half inch seam allowances in her pattern. I went ahead and sewed the skirt up with half inch seam allowance. The seam allowance for this pattern is actually supposed to be three eighths of an inch. I got away with it because of the amount of stretch in my fabric. Let me show you. So here's a scrap of my fabric. This is a stretch twill and it's, sh oops, <laughs> it stretches like crazy. Like it can, this can almost be a knit fabric guys. It really can almost be a knit fabric. Actually, this is stretchier than knits I've worked with before. So, because it has in so much stretch, so when it would have in seam allowances was fine. And actually, I ended up having to take some in along the hip area. The in gradient from the lash, the extra lash, the hip curve came out just a little bit too much. And I also have low hips. So it came out too much and at the wrong place. So I actually took in the hip curve about an additional three eighths of an inch the size large waist fits fine you're supposed to interface the waistband i didn't bother because i wanted to keep that stretch and i don't have any knit interface and i only have woven so because i wanted to keep stretch just to keep it comfortable and so that i can adjust with me as i grow or lose weight i decided to skip the interfacing and the waist fits perfectly now, this is going to come as a big shot, guys. I chopped off a whopping five inches <laughs> of this skirt pattern to get it to fit my frame. I am 5'4". I had to chop off five inches to get it to hit me just below my knee. I know it's supposed to be more of a midi style skirt, but I don't always like midi skirts on me because I am shorter. Sometimes I find that they don't suit my frame like they overpower my bottom half so i wanted it to hit like just below my knee and i'm really happy with the length after chopping off the five inches bearing in mind that i saw the waistband as well at the wrong seam allowance so it's actually supposed to be a little bit thicker than this right now it's right about here of course i'll do some close-ups but yeah so it's a very thin waistband now the way my body is set up right now i am actually liking thinner waistbands because they fit into that natural waist um dip in perfectly am i making any sense if it's a wider waistband what would happen is that the skirt is naturally going to ride up so that the bottom of the waistband sits in the natural curve and if i have a thicker waistband the waistband could end up all up here which is going to end up like right up onto my bust line so i i am preferring a thinner waistband right now so that when it sits at my natural waist, it's just a nice thin waistband and it doesn't sit too high on my body. Basically, in short, I could have just said this. I have a short <laughs> uh, torso. Well, upper torso. I'm short waist. There we go. I am short waisted. 
<laughs> so thinner waistbands work better right now however it all depends because for knit fabrics i actually prefer a thicker contoured waistband and then the top of the waistband would sit at my natural waist but with wovens i find they tend to ride up so that the bottom of the waistband sits on my natural waist waistbands are complicated y'all on my body at least so the janelle skirt has an invisible is it an invisible zipper? No, it's just a regular zipper at the back and also hook and eye closures. I used an invisible zipper and I took it all the way up to the top of the waistband. Like I said, I'll do some close-ups so you can see what mine looks like. I always prefer the zipper to just go right up to the top. I don't like hook and eye closures. Now, remember guys, I'm on lockdown. This was not really planned. Um, I did not have a matching zipper, so I had to use navy blue. But luckily, my zipper is truly invisible. I got it sewn in perfectly on the first tray. So all you see is that little zipper pull and the navy blue. Kind of just blends into this fabric because this fabric is a mix of black, gray, and white. Um, the navy blue is not too distracting at all. I'm also really lucky I had that navy blue zipper because I had nothing else that was remotely close. Everything else was like cream and then brighter colors. Now the instructions for this skirt, really, really good. Erin has a sew along again. Um, Y'all know how I feel about sew along videos. They're very helpful and I love when I don't even have to look at the instructions and I could just follow along with the video. It's also a very simple skirt to sew up. Definitely beginner friendly and I whip this up in a couple hours. The one thing I would say is that both in the instructions and the sew along, um erin mentioned that you fold the hem up two inches but my hem notch was actually one and three quarter inches i don't know if that was just on my size but yeah mine was one and three quarter to fold up in order to get um the hem seam to match up so you know when a hem when a skirt is curved like this the hem then needs to come out like this so that when you fold it up it would line up with that curve mine lined up at one and a three one and three quarters of an inch and then um, my hem notches were also at that point so i don't know if that's just an error or if that was on my particular size but yeah that was something i did notice apart from that everything else went smoothly it came together very well the change i made with the slit so she recommends you sew down the slit 10 inches i did mine 11 at first just to see and then when i tried it on I decided to do another inch so i sewed my down total of 12 inches yeah i just didn't want too high of a slit on this skirt but that is the lovely thing about this pattern is that you can customize the slit to your desired coverage and the obvious change that you're seeing is that i added buttons to mine this was totally not planned but when i tried on the skirt in my mirror this is after it's completely finished I'm like, something is missing, especially knowing I was gonna wear it with a plain black top. I just felt like something was missing. I was like, hold on. I think I have some round gold shank buttons that would give it that kind of sailor vibe. I pulled them out, I pinned them on. I showed them to my husband, I showed them to my mom. Both agreed that, yeah, the buttons, the buttons add something, they add that special Kira touch, you know? <laughs> So I added my buttons. How much buttons do I have? I have five buttons from the top of the slit all the way down to the top of the slit, <laughs> the top of the skirt all the way down to the beginning of the slit. Obviously they're not functional because this is already top stitched down anyway, so the slit can't come flying open in any case. It is very much top stitched down. So the buttons are just decorative, but I really, really like the look that they gave the skirt very very happy with that decision to add these buttons and y'all i've had these buttons in my stash for ooh, <laughs> i two to three years maybe and they've just been there doing absolutely nothing so i'm so happy i finally found a use for them so yeah like i said i just styled with a basic sleeveless black total neck this is a bodysuit it's a very thin fabric um i did still roast a little bit <laughs> under the lights when i was taking the photos but i really like how they pair together very simple up top i just wore some gold hoops i had my skirt and of course my carry purse guys look how cute this carry purse looks with this skirt i mean match made in heaven oh yes i just remembered so in my last video when i spoke about this bag and my plan to make the janelle skirt i told y'all that i discovered that crystal used the same <laughs> pairing so crystal made a 
really really cute giraffe set so the giraffe printed skirt and then she made the carry purse to match the same Janelle's skirt I am gonna insert a picture of Krista's because it's so so cute like I feel like hers is more daytime and mine is more nighttime and that just goes to show the versatility of these two patterns so if you have the carry purse pattern and you're looking for something to match it with try the Janelle skirt guys and vice versa it really is a cute match up so don't forget to enter my carry post pattern giveaway sponsored by robin from styles in seams as part of hashtag beach and pattern designers challenge this year so you can win this purse pattern you can enter twice you can enter here on youtube on my last video and you can also enter on my instagram post and the giveaway ends on this friday friday the 19th at 11 59 pm Atlantic Standard Time. Good luck guys. So now I am going to cut to my photos wearing this lovely Janelle skirt looking all Valentine'sy and mysterious <laughs> and I also share some close-ups so you can really see the details of the skirt. And that is it for today's short and sweet pattern review video. Absolutely love my Janelle skirt. This came together honestly even better than I imagined, especially with the addition of the buttons. Love, love, love this skirt. This may be my, my favorite skirt so far. Um, Hubby said this is his favorite look for hashtag vision pattern designers challenge so far. So points for me, points for me, pat on the back, pat on the back. So even though my top didn't work out, I still was able to pull out this skirt very very proud of myself very very happy with this look happy with this um fabric and pattern pairing happy with the way the carry purse looks with this this is definitely an outfit i can see myself wearing out whenever we open back up and i'll pop on my red heels as well yeah really excited to wear this one so next up guys next up i am making my Next up, hopefully, I'll be working on my Ivy Patterns Goddess gown using this pink, it's just a pink um, shirt in cotton, nothing special, but I do plan to embellish it with these pretty color rick racks that you're seeing here. I'm not usually a rick rack type of girl, but I came up with this idea to do it in a different way, a very non-traditional way of applying Rick rack. Fingers crossed this goes well because I think this could be a knockout look. <sighs> I think this could really be something special, guys. Um, I have about, like, I'm actually going to count. Three, six, nine, twelve, I have about 15 colors of Rick rack there <sighs> to hopefully apply to this. I may skip some colors, but I have 15 colors to choose from. A lot of them are really colorful, even neon colors in there. So, yeah. Stay tuned for this, guys. Stay tuned for this and keep me in your thoughts and prayers that this works out as planned. This has been in the making for almost a year now. So, I really, really want to crank this out. This idea is like, okay, you guys know when you come up with an idea, right? And then you kind of sleep on it. 
and then somebody else does it and you're like, oh, shucks. They beat me to it. For almost a year now, I've just been holding tight and wishing that nobody uses the red crank <laughs> the way that I want to. I want to be the first. <laughs> it's like, not that we're competing, but sometimes you really have a special idea in your head that is true to you and that you just really want to put out as a key piece, you know? Like my own special touch. And you're just sitting and hoping that no one does it before you because then you don't want to look like if you copied that person you know what i mean like you want it to be an original idea because it's something creative that you made up in your mind i am rambling stay tuned for this you guys stay tuned for this so that's it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed watching thank you so much for joining today don't forget to give me a big thumbs up if you enjoyed also hit the subscribe button on your way out if you have not done so already i hope you guys cannot hear this crazy wind um in my last video when i didn't mic up you could totally hear the wind howling we've been having some crazy windy days lately luckily we're on the inside so it doesn't affect us too much so yeah guys that's it for me today i'm out and i'll catch you in my next video bye